you stumble across Paul Graham. Because he wrote a lot of essays basically mm -hmm. saying, if you start a company and write your software in Lisp, you will become a millionaire. That was like the thesis of Paul's like first probably like 15 essays. And that's like, that was very, uh, you know, an, an enticing dream. Did you pick up Lisp then? I did, yeah. I and programmed did it, Lisp. Did it change the way that you viewed programming? It did, in fact. Um, and the first version of Reddit was in, written in Lisp. Um, and I don't know, like, for example, okay, so that's how I became a f fan of Paul Graham. Uh, I saw he was going to give a talk over our spring break. So Alexis and I went up to meet him, and I brought my dog-eared copy of, uh, dog-eared being an idiomatic expression for a book that's, like, worn out. Um, the pages are so worn out, they look like dog's ears. Um, or, I'm sorry, you folded them all over. Da, 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 yeah, yeah, because you're, whatever. Anyway, uh, my beat-up copy of Paul Graham's pro Lisp programming book, um, I brought to that talk. After his talk, Alexis ran up to the front of the stage, got his attention. Alexis is very, very charming. Um, and he was like, you know, you should meet my friend Steve. I was very shy. Uh, and I got uh, Paul to sign my book. And because we came all the way from Virginia and I had like this worn out copy of his book, he agreed to meet us later that evening. And that's when we talked about our startup idea. And then a couple days later is when he announced Y Combinator. Um, and Talk about good timing. Be, yeah, right? Um, well, you know, he... he uh, he, he, when he announced Y Combinator, he basically told the story about how I went to dinner with a bunch of guys and felt bad for not investing in their startup, and now I'm going to start this thing called Y Combinator. And so Alexis was like, Steve, you should send him a thank you email. I'm like, okay, I, I don't know. I probably would not have done that if he had encouraged me to. So I sent him a thank you email. I was like, hey, thanks for your time, and this and that. It was really cool to meet you. And he replied back with, well, I just started this thing called Y Combinator. You should apply. And so that's, that's how, we got uh, how, it, how it happened. And then once you guys were in Y Combinator with a food ordering application. Well, we were actually rejected. You were rejected? It was very frustrating what? because we, we, were, we applied with our food ordering idea, an idea with, about which we had talked to Paul for an hour or two. Um, and then he said he, he was sad that he didn't invest in it, too. Yeah, and, and he invited us to apply, knowing what our idea was, <laughs> and, then, and, then you got you know, and then rejected us. So um, <laughs> that was a little frustrating. And uh, we, we took the train from, from Boston to Virginia. It's about an eight-hour train ride. And so we were on our, you know, we went up for spring break. We went back after spring break. We went up a couple weeks later to an interview. We were on our way back. Um, <clears throat> he called us and basically said, hey, uh, that idea is just, that idea is not going to work, but we really like you guys. So if you want to be in Y Combinator, work on something else. And so we basically had a brainstorming session with them about what that something else might be and that something else turned into Reddit. Well, what was that brainstorming session like? Um, we were basically talking about two things. Uh, Paul really liked a website called Delicious. Uh, Delicious, I think, is still around. Um, it was a social bookmarking site. Uh, and a, it, it, Delicious pioneered a couple of things. Um, tagging, this whole notion of tagging, I believe, was invented on Delicious. Um, also, uh, the domain name for Delicious was dell.ico.us. So it also started the trend of shitty <laughs> country-specific domain names um, being the first and probably worst example. Um, <laughs> but it was a popular thing. And, and, and Delicious was cool, so you, you, would, you would save all your you know, websites your, that you wanted to bookmark uh, in Delicious, and then you could tag them and organize them however you want. And it had this page called Delicious slash popular. And it would show you all of the things that are being bookmarked that day. So it was like a, uh, it had this really kind of cool user generated feel to it. The problem was uh, when you bookmark something, it's because you want to read it later. So that by definition means things that are long or maybe reference material, um, you know, that, that sort of stuff. And so delicious slash popular was this really cool user curated list of the most boring content on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and so our uh, thinking was, well, let's take the mechanics of delicious, uh, this kind of rising and falling thing, um, but combine it with a community of Slashdot, of which I was a member. Slashdot was Slashdot.org, news for nerds, stuff that matters. Um, I was a big user of that. Um, and, and Slashdot had this, you'd go there and you'd see all these news articles, and, and then you'd, but the real magic was in the comments. That's where the community existed. 
And so we're like, let's take the, the, the mechanics of Delicious and combine it with the community of Slashdot. And I think that's exactly what we've achieved now. And I'm actually very like proud it, of that. Yeah. But back at the time, it just seemed like so far away that we could ever build something as cool as Slashdot. Like to me, Slashdot was a big deal. Um, and I, and I, and I uh, I'm still have a very big place in my heart for them. And to think that like we've built something as cool as Slashdot still actually um, is, is something that kind of blows me away a little bit. Yeah, accomplishing that, realizing that you've accomplished what you set out to do is actually pretty awesome. Um, yeah, and it's, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, so many things, even, even in the story up until the, the, the point I've told you so far, so many things have to go right, uh, you know, just to get into YC. It's, it's, it's just incredible to me that we've made it, you know, 12 years later. And that was the first batch of YC. Mm -hmm. So how was that batch? Uh, well, I think it was a strong batch because you had Alexis and I doing Reddit. Um, two of the other companies basically merged into Reddit. There's only eight companies. So three of them basically merged into Reddit over, over the next year. Um, another company was founded by uh, Justin Kahn and Emmett Shear, uh, who would later start uh, Justin TV, which turned into Twitch, which sold for a you know, billion dollars to Amazon. Um, had uh, Sam Altman, who is now the head of YC. Uh, so this is a strong, strong batch. Yeah. <laughs> um, and once, so you went through YC and you built Reddit, and then YC ended. Uh, and then was Reddit, how did Reddit exist at the end of that, and when did it really start scaling? Um, you know, Reddit has had very few, like, traffic pops. You know, we never had that, like, hockey stick graph. Um, the J-curve. Yeah, we've, we, we never really have had that. You know, we've had some nice days. Um, you know, December 20, no, December, like, 30th, 2015, so my kind of, when I, you know, long story, when I came back to Reddit, I'd only been back six months. Um, we grew like 20% over Christmas. So that was cool, because that's like 40 million users. Um, Any guess why that happened? No, we have no fucking No, no idea? <laughs> um, uh, but actually, that's the sort of thing is very rare. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and, and, and so by the end of the summer, I don't know, we had maybe a few thousand users. Well, maybe. We're, uh, in, I know